Good morning. Um, first off, I am so excited to report that today we are supposed to be in the 70s, finally. Late March, the last week of March, and we are finally getting 70 degree weather. So, I'm feeling super great about that. Um, but what this video is going to be going over is kind of everything I didn't really get to express yesterday in my video about, um, my orange peels and the nitrogen concentrate that I made. Um, I did not buy any new topsoil this year. Um, my beds are pretty full and I had a bunch of organic matter that broke down um, throughout the winter. Um, and it just, the spring kind of got away from me. I'm a full-time student and a full-time mom, so I sometimes don't get to everything that's on my list. But I'm not super worried about it because there are so many ways that you can amend your soil and feed your plants organically with matter you find around your house. And orange peels is one of those things. Um, there is a lot of nitrogen in orange peels. Um, so yesterday, what I did, and just so you guys know, I videotaped the whole process, but between two kids and holding my phone, it was easier for me to put it into a slideshow and kind of just give steps and then today kind of sit down when I had some free time and explain it a little bit more in depth um, because yesterday was just crazy. <laughs> um, but so basically what I started out with is I bought a bunch of oranges for Lily. She's my three-year-old. She loves um, fruit as all children do. And I came across a blog that was talking about orange peels and how you can boil them and it will seep all the nitrogen out of the orange peels and you'll have a really nice concentrated um, uh, drink for your, um, for your garden. So I thought I would give it a try. Like I said, mostly because I didn't amend my soil and unfortunately I'm doing like a big garden no-no this year. I'm planting a lot of the same things in the same spot. Um, it, it's very well known that you want to rotate your crops um, every year because each uh, plant takes different nutrients out of the soil. And so when you rotate them, it's not going to be as big of a deal when you don't amend the soil or you don't buy topsoil. And I did not do that, mostly because I really like where my crops are. I'm an urban gardener, so not only do I like plant my um, plants in specific places due to sun, but I also plant them because of the space and how it's designed. Um, I like to use my tomato plants as a privacy barrier between me and my side neighbor in my front yard. Um, I have a whole back garden bed that I just like to really compactly um, plant, which is like beans and peppers and onions, because they can all grow really close together. Um, and then I have some whiskey barrels, and then I always find other spots to plant things. Um, so I thought that a nitrogen boost was much needed. Um, I got my tomato plants in the ground last Sunday, so this last Sunday. Um, so they're freshly in the ground. My peppers have been in the ground for, I think, about a week. Um, so I felt like it was a good time. Um, nitrogen is really beneficial. It promotes rapid growth. So you don't want to do it all the time. But if you feel like um, you want to just kind of give them a boost, a little hit of something good, um, orange peels is really great. It was super simple. I literally just saved all my orange peels. I actually, since I had so many oranges, I peeled them. I prepped them. So when my toddler's screaming at me, I want oranges now, I can just grab a pre-peeled orange. Um, and I wanted to use the orange peels. So then I put them all in a big pot and then I filled that pot with water. I boiled that pot for 10 minutes. 10 minutes was sufficient. The peels were nice and soft. Um, the, the, all of that nitrogen, um, had seeped out of the peels. So then what I did is after 10 minutes, I drained it in a colander. I kept the peels. So this is really beneficial and really cool because this is process is zero waste. We ate the oranges, we seeped the oranges, and we're also going to use the orange peels, which is really, really awesome. Um, I like using everything all the time. So... Um, so once I drained the peels, I let that, um, 
I let that concentrate cool. You don't want to put anything warm on your garden. Even in the summer, you want to remember, always like run your water for a couple minutes out of your hose because that water that's in your hose is scalding hot. Um, if you have kids, you probably already know this because you don't want to like accidentally burn your children. Um, also with gardens, it'll burn roots, it'll burn leaves, and it's really, really, um, dangerous on every front so same goes for when you feed your garden so I let it cool and then I put it in a milk jug um, I like milk jugs I reuse them all the time I use them to water when I have seedlings um, and all that fun stuff so then after I drained my peels and I put the concentrate in a milk jug um, I proceeded to blend my orange peels now if you don't have a blender you don't have to blend it that's just how I do it I like a really fine puree because as it like dries out it's gonna kind of just get really hard and it'll work into the soil really well but you can use a cutting board and a knife you can mince them up you can use a food processor honestly they are so soft you could peel them with your hands so don't let um, a lack of a kitchen um, a tool keep you from from doing this whatever way you want to break your peels up is going to work and you don't have to to mince them up as finely as I do I just like it because it helps them break them down a little bit sooner faster but once they're peeled they're or once they're boiled they're so soft you can put them in at any size. Um, the larger the chunks, the longer it's gonna take to break um, down in your garden, but it's not gonna do any damage. It's not gonna hurt anything. Um, so then after I was done pureeing my orange peels, I went out to the garden, and that's kind of when you guys got a more vocal, like, of how-to, not just a slideshow. Um, and it was super simple. You just uh, dilute that concentrate in a watering jug. I'm really excited. I took pictures of my peppers and my tomatoes yesterday, and I plan on taking another pi uh, picture a week later, seven days later, just to see how much growth um, is visibly apparent, especially since we're finally, finally into 70 degree weather. Loving it. Now I'm just praying we don't jump to 90 because that's kind of what we did last year. <laughs> um, so hopefully I'll have like a visual and I'll probably post that on Instagram. So if you wanted to see like the before and afters. Um, but again, this is just a really great um, boost to give your new plants to promote rapid growth. It's really going to help just feed them, get them to grow taller, get them to grow stronger. Um, yeah. So that's a little bit more of an explanation of why I did it and what I did. There's so many benefits of it too. Um, I have yet to do this. I'll probably do it later in the year if I notice I have a pest problem. I'm really lucky with where I live on the South Hill. Um, I get honeybees. I get um, ladybugs. I mean, they're super apparent everywhere in my garden um sometimes i'll be like what is that on my plants because i'll see like multiple moving things and even with glasses i have like the worst eyesight ever um and i'll walk up to it and it'll be a bunch of ladybugs and they've really in the last two years they've really kept my garden clean the only time i've ever really had a pest problem is when like my fruit gets on the ground and at that point in time that's organic gardening if the little critters need and uh, they get their hands on something they deserve it, you know. They get it too. We we all we all want the the good grown veggies. So I'm not even hating. Um, and honestly, that's on me. I should have harvested sooner before it got on the ground. Um, but um, later in the year, sorry, <laughs> all over the place. You can actually take this concentrate and you can dilute it in like a spray bottle and you can actually spray, spray it directly on your plants and it acts as an insect repellent um, because like aphids and like slugs and stuff they don't like citrus I don't necessarily know the scientific facts of it I don't know if, if it's the acidic level I don't know if it's the nitrogen I think it might be the nitrogen but um, they don't like it so if you're having issues with like aphids I know that that's like a big one especially in spring and fall um, or any sort of insect, try that um, before you try um, a more potent option. I'm not a big fan of like diluted dish soap on my plants because you always have to like rinse it off. And again, I said this in previous videos, I like to just go out and grab things out of my garden and eat them right then and there. Um, 
it's just satisfying and it's that's why I kind of like to be a kind of a more organic gardener um I'm sure that there's like an organic guru out there who's like you're not an organic gardener you use red solo cups or you know or you didn't buy organic oranges I'm not claiming to be an organic gardener I just like to try and be as clean as possible I also love and try to use everything that I have already available before I have to go out and purchase more um it just makes it that more worthwhile for me, I guess. That's how I feel. So again, there's so many different ways that you can use these orange peels. They're so beneficial. I don't know when I'll do another nitrogen boost. I'm going to do a little bit more research and see like when the appropriate times are within like the growing stages. Um, and I'll just keep you guys informed. It's kind of the first feed I've done besides the organic fertilizer that I worked into the soil before I planted. Um, so I'm excited. I'm really excited this year. I'm super stoked. The next big thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, amend with some eggshells, which is really great for calcium. So when I do that, I don't necessarily know. I've seen a, like a ton of people do it different ways. I've seen some people like bake their eggshells and then pulse them like in a like a coffee grinder and make them into a fine powder. I've always just smashed them up and I've never cooked them and just kind of put them in the soil to let them break down that way. Um, but again, super beneficial calcium for your soil, um, f you know, to feed your plants. And also when you have like slugs and stuff, they don't want to be on an abrasive surface. So the more rough it is, the better they're going to, they're going to stay away. So when I do that adventure, I will videotape it and I will inform you guys. Um, I encourage all you guys to get out and enjoy the 70 degree weather today. Um, with Memorial weekend right around the corner, it's supposed to get cool again, but it's spring. We need rain. I'm not mad about it. Anything to keep us as uh, hydrated, to keep the earth as hydrated as possible, I'm all game for. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the questions. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. I like love sharing. Also, if you see me doing something and you're like, oh, she's like not doing that, let me know. Or you're not doing that right, let me know because I, um, I love to learn. Um, and I'm not claiming to know the most of anything and I love to learn. I, I want to learn more. I want to do it better each year. That's the goal with this garden. So just hit me up on Instagram if you want. And, um, again, it might give me more content for future videos. All right. Thank you guys. Have a great day.